Hello and welcome to the BBC's News at 1 o'clock. Sir Peter Yusinov, one of the world's most versatile entertainers, has died at the age of 82 in Switzerland. Sir Peter was well known as a roving ambassador for the United Nations children's charity UNICEF. He'd previously built up an impressive reputation as an actor, director and writer. He was famous for his roles in the film Spartacus and Death on the Nile, in which he played Agatha Christie's detective Hercule Poirot. Nick Hyam looks back now on Sir Peter's life and work. I'm keeping your passport. He was an actor, author, playwright, diplomat, and a great teller of tales and jokes, like this one about a German border guard who'd seized his passport. He said, I'll be honest with you. Every day when we come to work, before we start, we are forced to look once again at all the photographs of known terrorists. And I knew I'd seen your face someday. <laughs> He was born in London of German, Russian, French, Swiss, Italian and Ethiopian ancestry. At school, they thought him too clever by half, as one report revealed. It was written by the headmaster who said, he shows great originality, which must be curbed at all costs. <laughs> he made his film debut in 1944 in The Way Ahead. His film career was to last almost 60 years. Je veux qu'on m'affiche la paix. Says he's a pacifist, sir. In the Hollywood epic Spartacus, he won the first of two Oscars, but his work as a writer and a goodwill ambassador for UNICEF was just as important as his acting. Extraordinary talented man, you know, sort of, uh, was thinking about him a few minutes ago, and I was thinking that as Coward wrote himself a talent to amuse, Peter not only had that, he also had a talent to help others less fortunate, particularly children. Uh, Yusinov, the showman, was Yusinov. That was Yusinov, the man. In 1978, he played Agatha Christie's Belgian sleuth, Hercule Poirot. Lucky? With me, it's the exercise of the little grey cells. Luck, I leave to the others. He directed plays and operas, appeared on television, wrote books. In Europe, they revered him as a man of immense culture. In Britain, we'll remember him because he made us laugh. Well, then it was time for me to go to school for the first time. I remember it vividly. School in London, I was six years old. There was a large oleograph on the wall of the classroom of Jesus Christ holding a boy scout by the hand. <laughs> and with the other available hand pointing out to the boy scout the extent of the British Empire on the map. <laughs> Put it down to my foreign background, if you will, but I was pretty sceptical from the start. Well, among Sir Peter's friends is the film director, Michael Winner, who joins us live from London. Mr Winner, good afternoon to you. Uh, Sir Peter will be remembered for lots of things, won't he? But what for you was the most outstanding? Well, Peter's most outstanding achievement was to be Peter Ustinov and to be very witty and a bane and charming, great mimic. He mimic, mimicked me better than anybody, and many famous people have done me. Uh, I first met him in 1952 when he was a playwright in London, starring in his own plays, and we remained friends for over 50 years. I employed him as Poirot. He was particularly good at that very dreary dialogue of Poirot's where he says, you say you were in the field, madam, but I suggest you were in the house. He did that sort of stuff with a great twinkle and, and made it bearable. Uh, great raconteur, of course, quite irascible. He was not the cuddly teddy bear he put out. He could be very irascible indeed, but then so can I, and I'm wonderful as well. Uh, I, he was a great friend of mine, a great, great friend. The last time I saw him, I brought him over for Stanley Kubrick's uh, Director's Guild Life Achievement Award, and he was very frail. I was very shocked at Peter, but he got to the podium, and he delivered a speech where he imitated everybody at the first script read-through of Spartacus. He did Olivier, he did John Gavin, he did Kirk Douglas. It was, without question, the most brilliant 12 minutes I've ever seen anybody do in my life. And, uh, and, 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 and what about his work for the UN? Because that was very important to him, though, wasn't it? Yes, he, of course, uh, as many actors do when they uh, work isn't quite as frequent, they work for the UN, and he did it wonderfully, and he was a kind man, and he cared about people. Uh, and he had very strong views about life in general. And he was an all-round wonderful person. I'm very glad to have known him. I shall miss him greatly, because we used to bump into each other all over the place 
It was always a pleasure. I won't bump into him now. He's up there. All right, Michael Winner, thank you very much indeed for your...